Welcome back to Piston Shack YouTube channel and today we're working on Volvo Volvo V70 XC2001 and this this car has a serious problem with a severe engine oil leak and how that happened and make a long story short when I was driving on the highway uphill vehicle speed was around 100 105 kilometers per hour I looked in the rear view mirror and I noticed a sort of like a fog, like a spray uh, behind and uh, I pulled over and I looked and my tailgate and the rear uh, window was all covered in oil. I popped the hood and voila, uh, under the hood, engine bay on the passenger side, everything was wet like soaking wet and covered with the engine oil I looked underneath it was all the way from the front back to the tailpipe covered with the oil and dripping and that's how that issue appeared i don't know yet what's wrong let's get into the, the task and uh, see what we'll find it will be interesting i have some ideas and uh, uh directions how to approach this issue yeah i hope this video will help someone yeah enough talking let's get into the video Okay, clean on this side, but as you can see, lots of oil down to the harmonic balancer pulley, whereas a AC compressor, idler pulley, and uh, tensioner, everything's covered. And if you go and even look more further down, everything's wet so it might be hard to see on the camera but over here everything sprayed in oil let's get camera into the spot yep this wet and the uh, rim as well and brakes let's just put a camera underneath and then you can have a better look yep everything's wet over here all the way to the back let's look from the back and as you can see same situation well let's uh, 
take a passenger front wheel off jack it up and then we'll have a better view and better idea to see how far this issue is going front wheel removed 90 mil deep socket put your vehicle on a jack stand apply the e-brake make sure you're safe it won't fall on you yep very easy very simple and now we see better and more oil more oil all over the area and uh, yeah it, it it doesn't look any good an important thing i will tell you that clean the oil from the rubber elements like this rubber boot on a cv axle this rubber boot on a power steering rack and inner tie rod and all rubber components ball joints yeah clean because the oil will deteriorate the rubber and create more issues and it has resulted in damage yeah that's the picture lots of oil let's uh, take this small shield off plastic uh, cover removed and no metal cover removed and i pull the plastic uh, uh, liner out a 10 millimeters socket to remove those uh, plastic uh, nuts let's see what we have here i can have a better look and um, yeah i don't see anything from this side and uh, yeah i'm going to remove the um, under engine shield that's the uh, bottom part and also remove this cover and the timing belt cover and most important part thing i noticed it in time and i didn't run my engine out of oil still had the oil lower oil pressure light didn't come on and no any other disasters happen that's a very hopeful situation for all of us okay write in the comment down below if you have some ideas or what do you think might cost this severe oil leak what part of the engine or something else could fail and cause this leak t 30 torques to remove the bolts pull this cover out 10 mil socket to remove the bolt holding this timing belt cover okay removing bolt completely b5244 t3 turbo this one's wet okay uh 12 mil socket for removing the uh, bottom cover plastic shield bolts bottom cover is off all right my friends and what i think what cost this serious severe engine oil leak okay first thing because we lost lots of oil fast that's probably one of the uh lines to the oil cooler exchange which is a plastic box on the back side of the engine at the oil pan that one of the lines could fail or uh heat exchange itself one of the oil lines up to the turbine or it could be the um exhaust camshaft uh, solenoid vvvt or I doubt it but it might one of the camshaft seals but that amount of oil fast then those quantities won't leak from the seal I think so that's lots or it could be the crankshaft seal which is behind the harmonic balancer or the mechanical uh, issue with the um, oil pan it got crack or damage or one of those parts mm, that's my thought and yeah I think you were right and will be interesting for all of us to read the comments what it could be. 
let's get under the vehicle and uh, look for any possible causes of that severe engine oil leak and first what I said I was thinking this is a oil uh, heat exchange those are two coolant lines and I thought it could be a reverse leak from the oil side to cooler and out and or the housing of the heater exchange oil cooler could get damaged or crack this is a plastic I never ever seen them fail but it was my kind of guess I was thought about could be <laughs> because there's lots of oil down in a um, oil pan it could cause that bad leak but luckily not okay let's check up to turbo see everything's dry let's go on this side I see a small oil yeah turbo started throwing a little bit of oil that's just one drop I see it sitting there but I don't see any leaks from uh, oil lines down and just uh, from the turbo throwing oil it's old turbo charger all right let's move down all right um, this is not a cause let's check the front of the engine where's the oil filter there's an oil filter cap because it's a paper filter inside this uh, plastic uh, cap there's housing is good and we, as we can see they all everything's dry like at the mating services there's no leaks I mean dry as you can see from here there's nothing got in that spot and we just see the spills over filters dry well filters cap okay that's uh, one thing let's go here and we don't see any damages and cracks to the oil pan no problems with that i was thinking it was a hit by something and uh especially on volkswagen this oil pan lower than subframe and can be easily damaged this is aluminum as you can see on volvo it's all a little bit in up and this is the engine subframe and see the difference it's better design some scratches from before okay we don't have any issues with this side let's go out okay we're out as i said there's no any leaks from the turbo line, uh, oil lines just a small sipping of the turbine itself okay another thing i don't think this um, exhaust cam shaft is solenoid uh that caused that big of a leak there's a gasket over here this paper composite gasket but you can try solenoid is all bolted down all tight and it could start sipping a little bit but not that much oil see oil spread all the way up one two three almost to the third cylinder everything's wet in the pockets okay now we're uh, moving uh, to the camshaft part and uh, yeah everything there's done wet hard to see from this side but let's look here i'm just uh, going with you and uh, Look at that. Oh, see? Intake camshaft seal just popped from the head. I can, oh, see? I could move with my finger in and out. Look. That seal popped from its place. Let's focus. There we go. Yeah. See, that's serious. That seal popped out. That could create a serious leak. Let's grab a screwdriver. I have it here. Oh, I have a paper towel. Okay, and uh, as you can see, this seal is just 
completely out like it's moving back and forth let me to get a better shot yeah seal itself just got pushed out from its position and its place and that obviously could create that serious leak okay let's uh yeah that's that's what we found well guys see i hope you won't have this issue if you you, you had a problem on your vehicle or you're having this issue right now let me know and uh, share your knowledge and uh, help each other to learn more useful skills and uh, help to fix the vehicles okay this seal is out then uh, in a second i will talk about uh, what can cause that and let's check the exhaust side of the camshaft where is the sprocket and uh, so far i don't see any any seals same as we saw on the intake it's pretty pretty tight but could be some misalignment with a seal our seal could be deeper in we cannot even see it let's uh, check the harmonic balancer crankshaft pulley seal let's zoom a little bit well it's hard to see let's use a one more extra light hope it will be easy to see for you guys but technically saying we'll get uh, anyway it's hard to see and uh, from uh, me looking down I just only see the oil on a uh, crankshaft sprocket for timing belt and I don't see any seal at all but we need to get down to that well and technically speaking we need to service a positive crankshaft ventilation system we'll make a complete tutorial video how to service that part on Volvo and uh, stay around I will uh, make a video and any questions you can ask and uh, another video another part of that this is a first and there will be second third and third video will go step by step and uh, uh, replace the crankshaft seal replace the both camshaft seals uh, install new timing belt idler and tensioner and uh, that all will be covered and also uh, as you know we have a lot of oil uh, before we'll get even to that we'll do cleanup special uh, as i already said on all rubber components i serviced the pcv system on a volvo positive crankshaft ventilation system replaced the uh, 